As the death toll from Ebola reaches 670, a second American doctor contracts the virus in Liberia, and it is feared to have spread to Nigeria. Here's an explanation of what Ebola is, how it is spread, and how worried we should be. Ebola virus disease, formerly known as Ebola hemorrhagic fever, is described by the World Health Organization as a severe, often fatal illness in humans. It first appeared in 1976 in two simultaneous outbreaks, in Zara, Sudan, and in Yambuku, in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The latter was in a village situated near the Ebola River, from which the disease takes its name. It is mainly found in tropical Central and West Africa, and can have a 90% mortality rate, although it is now at about 60%. The virus is known to live in fruit bats, and normally affects people living in or near tropical rainforests. It is introduced into the human population through close contact with the sweat, blood, secretions, organs or other bodily fluids of infected animals such as chimpanzees, gorillas, fruit bats, monkeys, forest antelope and porcupines found ill or dead or in the rainforest. The virus then spreads in the community through human-to-human -human transmission with infection resulting from direct contact through broken skin or mucous membranes and in direct contact with environments contaminated with such fluids. The World Health Organization says the disease is not contagious until a person begins to show symptoms. A big problem in West Africa is that burial ceremonies, in which mourners have direct contact with the body of the deceased person, can increase the spread of the disease because a person can transmit the virus even after death. Men who have recovered from the disease can still transmit the virus through their semen, for up to seven weeks after recovery from illness. Symptoms begin with fever, muscle pain and a sore throat, then rapidly escalate to vomiting, diarrhea and internal and external bleeding. The incubation period, that is, the time interval from infection with the virus to onset of symptoms, is from 2 to 21 days. There is no vaccine or cure, and testing to confirm the virus must be done with the highest level of biohazard protection. Severely ill patients require intensive supportive. Patients are frequently dehydrated and require oral rehydration with solutions containing electrolytes or intravenous fluids. The WHO is calling this the largest outbreak ever recorded of the disease. But there have been sporadic outbreaks before, mainly in Uganda, the DRC, Sudan and Gabon. The worst previous outbreak, in 2000 in Uganda, saw 425 people infected, of which just over half died.